I decided with Christmas on the brain um, and the holidays in general, um, it is a difficult time with COVID. Um, and so being able to celebrate the holidays in a virtual world, we are able to still find ways to stay connected. Um, so in today's context, uh, the winter is just a month away or a little bit longer. Um, and we are being told to stay physically distant and stay at home, but we also want to celebrate with family and friends. So um, there are definitely benefits to staying socially connected, as you probably all know, because um, <laughs> social connection, I think, is a human trait. Um, it's a human need. Um, and I'm really glad that you're all here today to be part of this kind of social connection. Um, but in terms of health benefits, it actually improves your quality of life. It boosts your mental health. It helps you live longer and it decreases your risk of suicide. Um, so in today's world, uh, social connection does not always mean physically being present with people in a literal sense. This has existed for a while, um, but especially very true this year. Um, and so being able to find that feeling of being understood and connected to others can be a subjective experience and can happen virtually as well. So I invite you to share in the chat what you are doing for your holidays. Um, and I'll give you some ideas as well as we continue. So uh, some ideas for online get togethers um, are ho uh, virtual holiday trivia, the holiday season in my uh, town. And so that's being able to share each uh, person what the traditions are, where you're based. Um, because there's all kinds of traditions that exist. And uh, I think through the next couple of presentations, we'll be looking at some of those different traditions, not necessarily around holidays, but um, around the tea ceremony, different types of dance. Um, and so being able to look at what kind of experiences we each have. Also, uh, movie charades, uh, Yuletide Pictionary, dramatic holiday readings, caroling, um, holiday recipe guides, so being able to share recipes and uh, provide a platform where people can um, share their favorite cooked recipe or favorite side dish uh, for the holiday season. It doesn't mean that we have to not move away from our holiday meals, <laughs> instead we can still enjoy them, um, whether or not it's in person. And also an idea that I came across, which I really liked, is to be able to share a holiday or share a recipe in general um, and then a couple days later to make that recipe, to give it some time to buy the food if you need it, but then to actually share the same meal together um, a couple days after the recipe is shared. So those are some ideas. Also being able to take a virtual holiday light tour. So being able to see the lights in your community and see which ones stand out to you and being able to share it with others. Um, also charity donations. So taking time to write cards to frontline workers or to senior citizens. Um, and then also doing a gift exchange, um, which could be donating to a charity as the gift rather than an item for someone. Um, but you can also do an item for someone through a circular gift exchange. So if you're interested to be able to um, share on Facebook or whatever platform or connect with your friends and to say, you know, here we can do a gift exchange and to be able to see who's interested and then have it happen. But the reason why I wanted to talk about this today was because you are all invited on December 18th, which is the day before the next uh, five minute presentation to a virtual holiday party. Um, the people on the screen, I do not know, I found it on Google. Um, but uh, for the virtual holiday party, it's primarily through the five minute presentation community, but also uh, for anyone who just wants to sort of come together and share in the holiday spirit. 